Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel. Oh, Jesus. And welcome to Train Sim World 2. Press E to begin. Get started. You've just been awarded some action points. Oh, lucky me. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen. Yes. And count towards your overall experience. Yes. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Oh, Practice Jesus. By looking up, down, left, and right. Oh, I'm looking. Oh my god, the hitching is insane. But I think we're I think we're good now. I have to look at the little things. Okay. Would you like to invert oh god no, not with the mouse. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. Let's do it. So this this game is on Game Pass for PC at the very least. Oh look at the choo choo trains. And so we're gonna we're gonna check this out. I had to make a character and I had to choose a region. I have to fix markers. This is one of many interactives to be discovered. Ah. But not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. All right, let's um. Climb aboard and take a seat in the cab with the engineers for a short ride. Oh yes. Do I just do I climb up here? Climb steps? Oh man, this is cool. So okay, a quick pause. Like I said, it's on Game Pass, so check it out. I've never played a train sim game ever, right? In fact, I use it as a not to poo-poo it, but it's usually an example, you know, people are familiar with the sort of, it's not an urban legend, but the idea of there are train games or cockpit games where you pay hundreds of dollars for DLC for a fully rendered train or whatever, and it's like, and glory to the hardcore dudes that are into that, but it's usually a bit of an example of how sometimes pricing on DLC in the market can be very different depending on the niche you're working in. Anyway. I never really got into sim games, and then I played Farming Sim 19, and I lost my mind, and I absolutely love it, and I've come to realize that for years I paid these out, and younger Scarlet probably didn't like these sort of games, but old Scarlet is growing uh, quite fond of them. So I thought, this is the perfect opportunity to actually legitimately look at a train game and see if it's a bit of fun. Door? Oh, that's a door. Jesus. Oh, okay. Oh, in I go. Oh, I tell you what, though, this... um. This hitching can get stuffed. Do I close the door? I guess I don't close the door, I just leave everything open. Oh, no, here we go. I wonder if uh, it just... You know how you have load screens in games and that sort of thing? I wonder if I just actually kind of loaded from an outside map to an inside map in a way. Like, maybe that's why it hitched so hard just then. I don't know. I don't know. Find a seat. Hello, Andrew. How are you? No, not feeling... Okay, that's okay. Look, you don't have to love the man you work with. Become a passenger. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, and then return to the game when ready. Press escape. Overview. Schedule. Oh, here we go. Pause the game, review the task log. HUD? Oh, how good is that? Look at this gradient. Oh, yeah. Overview. A lot of time will be spent Oh, the whole thing is a task log. Okay. So when ready, sit in the engineer's seat. Oh, 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 oh. let's go, boys. A heads up display has Where's appeared the on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. Yeah, okay. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. Oh, yeah, I see. The red marker indicates the maximum Down the bottom right. speed. E to continue. This is a good tutorial. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. Yes. This is the power display. Yes. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. Oh yeah, cool. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. Oh wow. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. Oh, These feature danger. an indication of what is approaching oh. and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. I can right click to free the mouse, that's cool. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. Oh, no, nonsense. No, I need those indicators. I don't want to kill anyone. 
This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle all the way back to get moving. Press A to in increase throttle. That's weird. Independent brake. What is this? Press left bracket? Huh? Now, can I interact with it? Oh, maybe I'm not allowed to during the tutorial. All right, we're bloody away. Sandpatch Grade offers the ability to operate powerful and heavy freight trains yes. on one of America's most stunning and famous Yes, yeah, so I railroads. picked Sandpatch Grade, but I could pick London Underground and also, I don't know, Europe. You are currently <laughs> riding an AC4400 CW locomotive. Oh, cool. These are the workhorses of trains operating over the Sandpatch Grade. Yeah. With CSX Transportation having more than 600 in its roster. That's 600, that's pretty cool. All right, track's all clear for the next mile. Green signal's all good. Andrew is intently watching the, uh, the, the line. Can I... Oh, I can zoom with a mouse wheel. Okay, look at this, we've got our throttle. Integrated function display. Okay, yeah. Train Sim World allows you to ride... Exterior cam... Oh, yeah! Use a mouse and arrows to move the camera. Oh. See you later, train. I'm leaving. Dude, look at this. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. Huh. These can be accessed from the number two. How long are we? Oh, do I press one to go back inside? Okay. Oh, and two sort of is a fixed pivot around the main engine. Okay, that's cool. Have we got we've got two engines on the front as well? That's sick. Okay, cool. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Okay, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it. Welcome oh. to Pennsylvania. Crossing the Allegheny Mountains, the Sandpatch Grade is a vital link in the sprawling CSX rail system. Master yeah. Master the controls of powerful American freight locomotives operating out of the vast oh. Cumberland Yard facility. Whether the sun is shining, there's a rain shower, or oh, rain. a full-on snow blizzard, S snow. it's up to you to keep the rail traffic moving. This Bound is cool. Way over one of the steepest railroad grades on the oh, east. Oh, got a bloody achievement. Along the way, don't forget to place safety posters, collect lost hard hats, yeah. put up no trespassing signage, and fix broken snow markers okay. welcome to the sand patch grade okay buddy collecting helmets and putting up signs okay it's not exactly the most inspiring gameplay loop but whatever i'm here to drive the train okay now what's this sand patch grade explore tools what are tools scenario planner livery designer honestly don't care uh what's explore Training, ex scenarios, explore on foot and timetable, uh, start a new journey, continue sand patch grade, sand patch, what, what is the difference? Let's just do this. Chapter one, chapter two, freight engineer, big power. Welcome to the railroad. This sounds cool. Introduction, yard switching, refueling. Oh my goodness, morning delivery. Yes, yes, let's do this journey. Oh. Did I just, did I just select it by accident? Load a coal car, deliver a million tons of coal. Oh, <laughs> this is so good. Okay. This is the latest generation general purpose type 38 locomotive built by the Electromotive Division of General Motors. Yes. Known as a GP38-2, it packs an efficient 16 cylinder diesel electric motor able to generate 2,000 horsepower. Yeah, right. Okay. Let me in it. I guess maybe, maybe we're loading. I think we're loading. Oh. Oh. oh, look, now I'm in first person. Let's go, boys. Climb aboard the, the bloody GP. First off. Walk over to the locomotive as indicated. Yeah. Oh wow, how, how cool is this rail yard? Sick. How do I get in? Oh, here we go. Open the cab door. Oh, it's Sharon. Proceed inside. I was, I was wondering what you got to. Very cool. To take control. Oops. 
Safety always comes first on the railroad. Safety first. So to start with, we need to let those around us know this locomotive is operational. Begin by turning the forward headlights control to bright. Okay. Right. There are three key controls to operating this locomotive. The reverser, brakes, and throttle. The reverser Dynamic determines brake. direction of travel. Put this into forward. All right. A um, reverse forward. There we go. To the left is the auto brake, yeah. which applies brakes along the entire length of the train. Oh, okay. Let's move this to release. Oh, here we go. We're about to move. Yeah, we're building up. So make two blasts of the horn to alert anyone around. Remember. Nice. Now add some power, but not too much. Too much power too soon can damage both the locomotive and the car. That's alright, we'll just throttle one. Throttle one's fine. Nice and easy, man. Got a new haircut there, Shaz. Yeah, it's good, man. Very good. Alright. Okay, we're building up a bit of speed. Going 15... I'm set to 15 miles per hour, but I guess we're building up here. All right? 6.6, .6, yeah. You reckon we could risk a little more throttle? Nope, I reckon the game's not going to let me. That's fine, let's just slow and steady. Oh, it's just me and Shaz. No trailers, no, no nothing. Very cool. You're moving. Yeah. Great work. To maintain a constant speed, move the throttle back to its idle position. Okay. That concludes so you, you the sit it in idle to... Ah, that's slowly. cool. So, let's bring it to a stop. Okay. Yeah, it's probably move a good idea. Move the auto brake to initial reduction. As with applying power... Too much brake pressure applied too quickly can be detrimental to the train and its cargo. Ah, uh, we're good. Look at that. Look at that. That was great work. You've just completed your first lesson operating the GP. Thanks, man. All you, you taught me everything. There's always more that can be discovered, though. As engineers, we'll never stop honing our skill. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. 100%. Performance crap. Your speed, speed limit. Ah, look at this. Gronk got level, level up. Sand patch grade level. And I've got a level in that particular train as well. Oh, man. Okay. Nice. Legendary American Railroad. Yeah, cool. So is it just one long line? No, it can't be because so we've got the depot as well. Yard switching. Let's take a look. Before a train goes anywhere, crews arrange all the cars together. Meticulous planning goes into making sure the right cars go to the right tracks yeah. to make up the right trains. Yeah. This process is called switching. Yeah. I love it. This is, I thought there'd be so much more to this game than just sitting in the bloody seat playing with your, you know, self. <laughs> just trying to finish that sentence. Um, okay, cool. Let's go. Sit in the engineer's seat. Locomotive and we'll get started. All right. Okay, cool. This is old hat for me. Oh, it's Daryl. Jeez, Daryl, we haven't shared a cab in ages, mate. Oh, goodness me. This is going to be a good shift, buddy. Oh, he's still chroming the head there, I see. Very good. Nice and shiny. It's probably good to accept it sometimes. You don't want to fight it. All right. What are we doing? Insert the reverse reverser handle, okay? Hey, hang on. Reverser handle. 
set the locomotive up and pull towards the cars ahead. Oh shit, hang on, there's a lot of buttons Take all of a sudden. Though. Five miles an hour will do just fine. Set the generator field to on? Okay, on. The cut off valve to freight? Yeah, set it to freight. Oh, fuck me. The reverse of the forward? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Forward. Forward sounds good. And the automatic brake to release. And then we'll notch up the throttle to one. There we go. Here we go. She's going to start creeping forward any second now. Yeah, you can, you can hear it all. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go, Darren. Mate. Look at this. Open your window, see what's going on out here. Gently bump into the cars up ahead. The couplers will engage automatically. Yeah, okay. How gentle is gentle? I'm going five miles an hour. Is that gentle? There we go, nice and easy, just roll her forward. Roll her forward. Actually, bugger it, let's just send it. Let's just see what notch one does. If that'll be gentle enough. We're going at four miles an hour. Okay, well, that worked all right. That's it, you got this. Yeah, thanks man. Now, now hold them hold back. Them back beyond the switch in the track. Stop the train before the train be on the track switch. All right, well let's get that. Let's get the uh, reverser into. Am I, wait, stop the train beyond the track switch. Oh shit, we're going the wrong way. Hang on. Let's go throttle idle. Reverser to reverse, and then. Let's throttle her up to one, right? We'll bring that brake up so she's at a full stop. Now, now that goes, yeah, cool. And then we should start rolling back. Oh, you oh, oh, figured it out, boys. Oh, my, oh, my. What an absolute banger of a game. This is fun. Oh, no, we'll keep, we'll keep the window open. I'll listen to that beautiful engine. Oh, my goodness. So here we go. Stop the train beyond the track switch. Okay. That's all right. That's a hundred yards. We're doing what? Six? That's fine. We'll just creep on up here. She'll be apples. Nice, nice. Oh, man. Alright, stop the train. Let's hit that 10-yard marker. Cool. And then we'll just, we'll just slow. Head back to the switching area. I've overdone it. To put these cars with the others on the adjacent track, a switch turn in the, the track must be changed. Turn the throttle off. Climb down from the locomotive and walk to the switch. Walk over to the track switch. Hang on. 100 yards though. That's all right. We'll run. We'll run that. Darren, I'm off, mate. Just, you know, hold it down, big fella. Climb down the steps. Oh shit. That's not good. Let's not do that. Hang on. I don't really want to leave it running. I'll, I'll tell you what, in preparation for this uh, game, I watched that movie Unstoppable again, which I saw in the cinemas. Which is actually... Alright, throttle's idle. Emergency brake. Can we just leave the emergency brake on? Is that okay? 
independent break. You know, we'll just leave the we'll just leave the brake sitting there. That's fine, right? Because the engine's idle, but it doesn't have a throttle associated, so that's fine. Even just the tiniest bit of brake should keep it sitting still. All right, let's go. Off we go. Head back to the switching area. Okay. Off we go. A bit of cardio never hurt anyone. Switch lever. No, oh, nice. Excellent. We're all set. Climb back aboard and push the cars down the track, connecting them with the others already there. Nice. This is cool. I wasn't. I wasn't a kid that was ever into train sets or any of that sort of, you know, old man stuff. Can I, uh, can I... Oh, well, actually, no, this is where I access. Yeah, I was going to see if I could come at it another way. Sorry, Darren. Left the door open. Bit of a cool breeze on that head of yours, mate. All right. Let's, uh... Set the reverser to forward. We'll give her the one throttle and rip that brake off. And we should start rolling forward any second. Any second. Right? Have I forgotten something? Set the reverser to forward, throttle up a notch. I'm right, aren't I? Throttles up, reverses in forward. Brakes released. Here we go. Okay, we're starting to roll forward. I guess she just had to warm up a little bit. We do have a little bit to push. You know, there's, there's a little bit of weight there, right? Okay. Nice. Head back to the switching area. Oh, I'm going. Don't suppose like, oh shit, hang on, what was that? I pressed A, which messed with the throttle. So there'll be all these shortcuts. I'm actually kind of enjoying just pulling the levers with my mouse thing. It's kind of fun. Sun visor. Oh yeah, no, we don't, we don't need that just yet. <laughs> Wait, fuse cabinet? What's going on in here? Oh, we can have breakers go out. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right, hang on. So we're going up to connect the knuckles and grab this, this lot here. So we're doing five miles at the moment. I wonder what is, what is too hard. Probably going to be a bit much, isn't it? Oh no, let go. I let go by accident. Whoops. That's okay. Oh, you know what? This is going to be perfect. Delicious. Controls work really well, you know, the camera controls and, you know. Perfect. Look at that. Walk You're doing up. great. Keep it up. All right, let's get that throttle off. Now to uncouple the locomotive from the cars, climb down and walk to the first freight car. Independent brake. What is this? I don't know. But I think the automatic brake and just leaving it on is probably the smart move, right? We've got zero throttle. 
Climb down the steps. Wait, set the handbrake to applied. Hang on. Oh, are you talking about this? Handbrake. Released. Pull the cut lever to disconnect the locomotive from the cars. Oh, we're rolling. Hang on, that's not good. How do I... Hang on, hang on. What's going on here? Select the coupler to unlocked. Uh-oh. I can't tell what's going on there. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go. How do I, uh... Climb over. Here we go. Um, and I'm inside the train. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to be in here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we got a runaway train. <laughs> oh, shit. How do I get out of here? Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm stuck, shit. Oh, man. Um, control guide. Automatic brake. Bell. Cab light. Couple button. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, handbrake. Is there a, like, I'm stuck button? Bleed sand. Next destination. Oh no. Oh, you idiot. Locomotive, hang on. Turntable, camera, on foot. Take screenshot, run. Hide, interact. Oh no. I can toggle my headlamp. Well, okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> I was doing so well as well, but now this train's getting away from me. So what would I do now? Like, I guess I just have to give up. I have to quit. I don't know. All right, I'm an idiot. Don't, uh, under no circumstances, get out of the cab while it's still moving, which should be a big bloody obvious thing, but I did it anyway. All right, team, Train Sims 2. Uh, I'm not an expert, but definitely some cool stuff going on here. I really, really like this a lot. You should check it out. Like I said, it's on Game Pass, at least on PC. I can't speak to the console because I don't really play console these days. But, um, yeah. I really like this, actually. I'm going to have to play some more. Let me know what you reckon, team. We might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.